Today we are doing a demo to sync inventory between Shopify stores. One use case for this is retail and wholesale Shopify stores. You might want to sync up. And here's, here's how she works. It's a two workflow process. Seems like every demo I do is a two workflow process. But the first one here, we're going to trigger on order created. And then we're going to basically ping a webhook at the end of this that is sitting on the other store. Here is my other store, Kalen Plus. And here is the update inventory from Webhook. So on my first store, Kalen Jordan Dev, trigger an order created, and then we're going to loop over line items. I've got an Airtable thing going on here as well, but it's not doing too much. We could do more with this, but for now, this is just keeping track of the variance and stuff here. It's more of a record of what's happening than actually doing anything. But, uh, but anyways, we're going to get the item inventory ID from SKU, which I think we have a native support for that now, actually. We might have native framing details from SKU. Ah, not exactly, sort of. Sort of, but not really. So anyway, then retrieve inventory, get the inventory levels, update Airtable, and then we're sending this webhook with the SKU and the available inventory levels, okay? So when that happens, and then the webhook URL that we're dropping in here is the one from this other store. So the other store receives the webhook and goes, goes, okay, let me get my inventory item ID, blah, blah, blah. And then it retrieves the inventory item and updates the levels. You need to have a SKU in common between them, but basically, let me just, I don't want to do an order, an actual order, because the friggin' whatchamacallit, draft order. If you do a draft order in Shopify, if you do it the wrong way, I, which I can't remember, I think if you, the price is zero or something, it, it, it'll lock your checkout for like ever. So... I'm going to just manually update the inventory and then running this test. And so that completed. And if we jump over here, we should see that show up in the activity levels. We should see, boom, just updated the inventory there. And in then here in the Kalen Plus inventory, boom, we've got that six there. So that's how it works. Hope that is helpful for you. If you like any help setting that up, let us know.